the Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern has travelled to South Canterbury to meet farmers dealing with Mycoplasma bovis. Accompanied by Agriculture and Biosecurity Minister Damien O'Connor, who was live on Checkpoint last night, of course, talking about this issue, along with other industry leaders, the Prime Minister said an overhaul of the Biosecurity Act would happen once MPI's investigation was complete and the original source of the infection was confirmed. Zach Fleming and Nick Monroe, who've been doing a fantastic job, report from Waimat there. Yesterday, the government announced a 10-year plan to eradicate Mycoplasma bovis. And less than 24 hours on, the Prime Minister and Agricultural Minister were on a South Canterbury farm selling the future. What we've talked about here today, you know, with the experience of, of farmers who have been through this, is uh, that with the um, uh, process of first culling, then the process of disinfecting and a 60-day stand down, uh, then those farmers have that certainty to move on, uh, to um, bring stock back onto their farm and continue farming. There is no doubt that that is a very difficult process, um, but um, hearing that for those farmers there is this light at the end of the tunnel um, at least uh, tells us that that certainty matters, the way we compensate matters, and that they can then move on and get on with farming again. Nine months after his herd tested positive for Mycoplasma bovis, farmer Leo Benziges welcomed Jacinda Ardern, Damien O'Connor and industry representatives to his Waimati farm. His herd of 950 cows and 200 calves were culled, but he has since repopulated. Unlike most other farmers, he's also received $1.8 million in compensation and expects to receive the remaining $200,000 he is owed within the next fortnight. How was it to see all your, your stock taken away to, to slaughter? Look, uh, that is not something, it's not um, uh, something I really want to talk about it. It's all done, everything being killed, it's the past, it's done. We, we have to focus on the future. Also focusing on the future, Biosecurity and Agricultural Minister Damien O'Connor announcing a boost to MPI numbers after criticism of MPI's handling of the disease. There will be 25 more incident control point managers who will work one-on-one -on -one with affected farmers. There will also be a boost to the compensation team to help process claims faster and a new field office will open in Cambridge. And the Prime Minister pledging support today for the mental health of farmers dealing with uncertainty about their financial future and the future of their herds. We've had the Rural um, uh, Support Trust here with us in Rural Women to have that very conversation. Uh, yes, this is an animal welfare issue, but this is an issue of human welfare as well. They're doing an extraordinary job on the ground. We want to support them as much as we can uh, while farmers who are affected go through this. But actually, that's one of the things that hearing the experience today of what it's meant to go through this really helps us to make sure that we mitigate as much as we can the personal effects of this kind of um, experience. There'll be months of uncertainty for some farmers that are right on the restricted properties where they don't know if their cattle are going to be culled or not, they're going to sleep every night. That should get better. That should get better now that we have the certainty of this plan. Uh, look, we're, we're, we're putting more resource into this whole area. We appreciate with our winter, it's hard on, on grazing, getting uh, the right feed to the right animals. Um, it's, it's hard on, on families, of course, a, a, an increasing number who have been given notice of direction. Uh, look, there's an initial effort. Uh, visits like this today give us um, you know, uh, indicators of what we need to do better uh, and we'll be acting on every one of those. The government's phased eradication at a cost of $886 million will see the cull of over 150,000 cattle throughout New Zealand. Leo Benziges says there's light at the end of the tunnel though. Every farm infected from now on um, should go through, work with MPI, work together, brother against, because it doesn't work. Mm. Um, they have to be positive. And yes, it's hard, but um, in the end, in the end you, you just have to start again. Damien O'Connor says the Biosecurity Act will need to be overhauled once the cause of the outbreak is identified. In Waimate for Checkpoint, Zach Fleming.